Hi everyone, this is Ron Justice, also known as R Justice on the Carbright Forum. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the changeout procedure from the QC to the new rock chuck. This shot shows what is included in the rock kit number one, including are the following. The rock chuck, which consists of four pieces, two thin wrenches, the tightening and loosening T-handle used to remove and replace the tools in the chuck, and also the square bit adapter used to hold the spindle during assembly and disassembly of the chuck from the machine. For those of you who ordered kit number two, you will not receive one of the thin wrenches and you will not receive the uh, square tool. And uh, the reason for that is, is they were sold as QC removal tools in the past. And I appreciate your business on those. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and begin by showing how to remove the flex shaft from the top hat on the spindle. In the past there's been people that have had trouble getting the flex shaft to release. I was one of those people. Basically to make that job just a little bit easier, if you take this black clip and you rotate it around until the ball bearing is free, you can see that this shaft will come right out. There is a groove in the shaft that the ball bearing fits into and then this clip actually acts as a spring to hold the ball bearing into the groove on the flex shaft. So with that removed I'm going to pull the shaft away from the machine just rest it in the back of the machine while we're doing this changeover. I'm also going to just rotate that black band around so that it holds the ball bearing in place and it doesn't fall. Uh, for those that uh, have been unfortunate and lost the ball bearing I understand a BB will work just fine to uh, act as a ball bearing in, in its place. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to take the square tool, we're going to place it inside the top hat, which it, it does fit perfectly for those that haven't received those tools or haven't tried these tools, this works really well. You've also heard me say that the tools work really nice because they hold themselves. Well, what I'm going to do is take one of the wrenches and I placed a white piece of paper here on the shelf so that you could see how this works a little bit better because of the, the camera angle and whatnot. But basically the wrench will actually hold itself against the shaft while you take the wrench and turn on the top side. Now what I'm using here is a gear wrench and it's got a ratcheting action. You just flip it over to tighten, flip it to loosen. I'm going to set that on my square tool and actually just give that a nice little jerk and you can see that that came loose. <clears throat> now this chuck has been removed from the machine once. Uh, I, I had blue Loctite on it, just a drip to hold it on there, but that's all it takes. Now I'm just holding the square tool on the top and I'm unscrewing the QC on the bottom. And there we have it. Okay, at this point you'll want to take a pick of some sort, uh, like a drywall screw or anything like that will also work. Let me see if I can get in a position so that you can see this. But what we want to do is actually scrape the threads clean of any Loctite. And I'll just spin that around there. Those threads were pretty clean, so not a big deal. And I also have a little wire brush that I'll use to actually, you know, uh, clean those threads out nice and thoroughly. Once they're clean, you're good to go. Okay, so at this point, I'm going, going to take the rock chuck assembly, unscrew the bit adapter, and take the locking collar with the large end up and screw it onto the spindle. Be careful to get that on there not, nice and straight so you don't cross thread it and actually just screw the square tool until the locking nut comes up and it bottoms out. There is a, a stop in the thread so you don't have to worry about going too far. And if you take the camera angle down just a little bit you'll be able to see that there's a gap between the locking collar and the face of the spindle. Make sure that you've got that gap in there. Let's take this down just a little bit. You can see the gap between the spindle nose and the locking collar. Okay, now at that point, this piece really isn't real tight. I mean, you can tighten that just snug with your fingers or 
you know you can use the gear wrench and hold it with one of the thin wrenches and just give it a little snug it doesn't have to be tight at all and that's it we're going to pull this square tool out of the top and at this point we're ready to screw the bit adapter into the chuck before I do this what I want to do is show you <clears throat> one thing on this on this new chuck you can see that there's an arc ground on the back of the nut and what that does is indicate whether you've got the tool inserted correctly now once you've had a tool in the chuck and you take it in and out it's really not going to rotate but the first time you put it in without a tool in it could rotate and it could you know frustrate you a little bit but again once it's in the machine you, there's no worries you don't have to uh, fuss with it at all so basically all, you, all you're going to do with it in the machine is snug it up eighth turn loosens it and you're good to go okay so let's go ahead and screw this up into the locking collar and what I'm doing I'm going to take my hands down below here and I'm just screwing the locking collar down onto the bit adapter and eventually you'll feel it start to drag and right there mine's starting to drag and basically what's happening at this point is the lot the um, bit adapters coming up into the nose of the spindle and it's a snug fit so we're going to have to use a wrench uh, basically we're going to between the two wrenches oops, I have to turn this one around between the two wrenches we're simply going to tighten tighten this up and this is a little bit awkward because I'm trying to dodge a camera but we'll just snug this up until it bottoms out and once it gets up it's tight we want to snug that up good it's jammed to home and that's it we simply insert the flex shaft into the head give it a rotate and there you have it to drop the tool in and out eighth turn drop the tool out put a new tool in snug it up and you're good to go that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.